And with the Dahlia making landfall today, volunteers and other crews are in for a busy time as they help locals impacted by the Category 3 hurricane. As CHV 11's Brooke Buckner shows us, some Arkansans are already en route to some of the hardest hit areas to help out. 60 line workers with Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas are headed to Florida to help restore power. Wednesday, those crews spent the day stationed in Alabama waiting for the go ahead to continue their journey to the Sunshine State. You don't know what you're going to get when you get there and how bad it's going to be, really. Even though Mike Maddy with the co-op already knows thousands are without power, he and the rest of the crew plan to head to the city of Madison to start working Thursday. Because we don't know their system, we don't know the roads, we don't know where to go, so we're going to have a leader from their organization to show us where to go and what to do. And basically they'll say, okay, start at this line and this whole system is yours. You take care of it. But he says he and his guys love what they do and are ready to go wherever help is needed. And they beg to go on storms when they hit because first you get to meet new people, you get to see different areas and learn different things on the system. Volunteers from Arkansas Red Cross are also on their way to assist. Dana Dushaw volunteers with the organization and this is his second deployment. He's currently in Orlando, but Thursday he expects to go to one of the hardest hit spots to work in a shelter. We're putting cots together, checking people in, registering them, um, getting the food set up, the food preparation and the, and the food um, disbursement. Um, giving supplies out. Right now, he doesn't know where he's going to be assigned, but he plans to help out for the next two weeks. And I just want to help people and give back to those that are in need. In Little Rock, Brooke Buckner, THV 11 News. And right now, there are more than 150,000 Floridians without power. As you can see, the majority of that in the panhandle.